Right now, I am going to show you how to add a picture, remove the background, add a spotlight effect, and a label with an arrow. So let's get started. I want to add a red winged blackbird. So I'm going to go to Insert, Pictures, Online Pictures. I'm going to type in red winged blackbird. And I want him to be flying. So I find the flying bird, click it, and click Insert. As you can see, this is a very large picture, so I have to resize it. To do that, I'm going to hover over one of the corner white circles, click, and drag to make it smaller. I can move it where I want it to go. I am noticing there is a caption here that is kind of a citation for the picture. I don't like the way it looks, so I'm going to remove it. If you're doing a research project, you probably should keep those in. But right now, we're just making a picture, so I removed it. Um, and now, we're going to remove the background for the picture. Click on the picture, click Picture Format, click Remove Background. Now you can see that the things that are being removed are purple in color. I'm going to zoom in a little bit to get a better look. I'm going to say mark areas to keep because this part of the bird's wing is not being shown. I just clicked and dragged. Still, this part is not being shown, so I'm going to click and drag. Now, this is not going to be perfect. There are going to be some parts that aren't shown, like that little tip there. Um, but it's good enough for right now. I'm going to click Keep Changes. And you can see that when I move the bird, the, my background shows through. So I'm going to zoom back out. And I need to make the spotlight effect. I'm going to go to Insert. I'm going to go to Shapes, Oval. I'm going to click and drag the, the oval shape. This is going to be the spotlight. I'm going to right click, and I'm going to go down to Format Shape. And the reason I'm doing this is because this transparency part right down here. The color that I want inside is going to be white. So color, click there to change the color, and I want it to be white. I'm noticing that there is a border around my spotlight. I don't want that. So where it says line, I'm going to click no line. Now I want to make this spotlight a little bit see-through so my background can be shown through the circle. And you can do that by the transparency slider right here. I'm going to slide it to 50. If it's difficult to go, you can always just up the arrow to 50%. Now, here we go. There is my spotlight. The only problem is it is over top of the bird, and I don't want it to be over top of the bird. I want to be able to see the bird without that circle on top of it. So I'm going to click on the bird. I'm going to right click, and I'm going to go to bring to front. So now when I slide the spotlight over, it goes behind the bird. Since the bird is in the front, the spotlight's behind it. Now what I need to do is add the text box. So I'm going to click Insert, Text Box, click on the slide, and I'm going to type in Red Winged Blackbird. Now I would like the background of this to be white like the others, so I'm going to go to Solid Fill, and it defaults to white which is great. That's exactly what I want. I'm going to drag this to where I want it to go. And now all we need to do is add the arrow. Insert, Shapes, and I'm going to click on the arrow. I'm going to click and drag to the bird because where you're dragging it to, that's where the arrowhead is. Now, I don't really like the way this looks. 
I'm going to go to Shape Outline, and I'm going to make it white to match the background of my text box. As you can see, it's a little thin, so I'm going to click Shape Outline again, go down here to Weight, and I'm going to make it a little bit larger. I made mine to three point. You can make it whatever size you want. And that's it. That is adding a picture, removing the background, adding a spotlight effect, and adding a label. And there you have it.